Gypsy Rose Blanchard, a name synonymous with one of the most shocking crimes in recent memory, was back in the headlines. Her story had once gripped the nation, a tale of deception, manipulation, and ultimately a tragic end. Gypsy, who had been convicted for her role in the murder of her mother, Dee Dee Blanchard, had spent years behind bars. The case had been a media sensation, revealing the dark side of Munchausen syndrome by proxy and the lengths to which Dee Dee had gone to control her daughter. This time it wasn't about her past, but about her future. Gypsy was pregnant. The news came as a surprise to many given her tumultuous history. It was a stark contrast to the narrative that had surrounded her for so long. Instead of being the victim or the criminal, she was now stepping into the role of a mother, a role that would bring its own set of challenges and joys. She took to social media to share the news with the world. In a heartfelt post, Gypsy expressed her excitement and hope for the future. She shared images of her ultrasound and a positive pregnancy test, accompanied by a message of gratitude for the support she had received over the years. Her followers who had been with her through her darkest times now had a reason to celebrate with her. The world watched, captivated, as the young woman who had once been imprisoned for her role in her mother's murder prepared to bring a life into the world. News outlets quickly picked up the story and it became a trending topic on various platforms. Gypsy's journey from a controlled and abused child to a convicted criminal and now to an expectant mother was a narrative that intrigued and divided the public. The announcement was met with a flurry of reactions. Social media was abuzz with comments, likes and shares. People from all walks of life weighed in on the news, each with their own perspective. Some saw it as a sign of redemption, a chance for Gypsy to start anew and build a life free from the shadows of her past. Some were happy for Gypsy, seeing this as a new chapter in her life. They believed that everyone deserves a second chance and that Gypsy had paid her dues. Messages of congratulations and well wishes poured in, with many expressing hope that she would find happiness and fulfilment in her new role as a mother. Others expressed concern, questioning her ability to be a good mother given her past. They worried about the potential challenges she might face and whether she was truly ready for the responsibilities of parenthood. The debate was intense with strong opinions on both sides. Some felt that her past actions were too significant to overlook, while others argued that people can change and grow. The news spread like wildfire across social media, reigniting the debate surrounding her past crime and the complexities of her story. As the discussions continued, one thing was clear. Gypsy Rose Blanchard's life would never be simple or free from scrutiny. Her journey was far from over, and the world would be watching closely as she navigated this new chapter. The story of Gypsy Rose Blanchard, once a tale of tragedy and crime, was now evolving into a story of hope, redemption, and the possibility of new beginnings. Amidst the swirling controversy, Gypsy introduced the world to her boyfriend, Ken Urker. It was a moment that many had been waiting for, a glimpse into the personal life of a woman who had been through so much. The media buzzed with curiosity and speculation, eager to know more about the man who had captured Gypsy's heart. He was a quiet presence beside the media storm that surrounded Gypsy. Ken's calm demeanour was a stark contrast to the frenzy of flashing cameras and probing questions. He stood by her side, a pillar of support, his composed nature providing a sense of stability amidst the chaos. Ken seemed smitten with her, his eyes radiating love and admiration. Every glance he cast her way spoke volumes about his feelings. It was clear to everyone watching that his affection for Gypsy was genuine and deep. Their connection was palpable, a testament to the bond they shared. We are so excited to be welcoming a baby girl into our lives. This new chapter is something we have both been looking forward to with great anticipation. The joy of expecting a child has brought us even closer together and we can't wait to embark on this journey as a family. Our future is bright, filled with the joys of parenthood. We envision a life full of laughter, love and countless precious moments with our daughter. The thought of nurturing and raising her fills us with immense happiness and hope for the days to come. I vow to stand by Gypsy to be there for her and our child no matter what. This promise is not just words, it is a commitment from the depths of my heart. I will support her through every challenge and celebrate every triumph. 
Together, we will build a life of love and resilience. Their happiness was evident in their smiles, a beacon of light in their lives. The way they looked at each other, the shared laughter and the tender moments captured in photographs told a story of a love that was both profound and enduring. A stark contrast to the dark cloud of Gypsy's past that loomed large. Her history was filled with pain and struggle, a shadow that had followed her for years. Yet with Ken by her side, there was a sense of hope and renewal, a belief that the future could be different. Ken, however, seemed unfazed, speaking of their future together with unwavering confidence. His determination to build a life with Gypsy was clear. He spoke of dreams and plans, of a future where they would overcome any obstacle together. His words were filled with optimism and a steadfast belief in their shared destiny. Despite the controversy, Gypsy wasn't alone. Her family and close friends rallied around her, offering unwavering support. They shared her joy, celebrating the impending arrival of the new baby. They spoke of Gypsy's transformation of the woman she had become. They acknowledged her past, but emphasized that everyone deserves a second chance. They believed in her capacity for love and growth. They saw a mother in the making, ready to shower her child with the affection she had yearned for. Gypsy Rose Blanchard's story was not one of ordinary beginnings. From the outside, it seemed like a tale of a loving mother caring for her chronically ill daughter. But beneath the surface, a much darker narrative was unfolding. It was a tale shrouded in deception, manipulation and ultimately murder. The facade of a caring family masked the sinister reality of control and abuse. Gypsy had suffered for years at the hands of her mother, Dee Dee Blanchard. Dee Dee's relentless pursuit of attention and sympathy led her to fabricate and exaggerate her daughter's illnesses. Dee Dee, suffering from Munchausen syndrome by proxy, had subjected Gypsy to unnecessary medical procedures and convinced her that she was chronically ill. This psychological manipulation kept Gypsy isolated and dependent on her mother. Gypsy's life had been a web of lies, orchestrated by the one person who was supposed to protect her. The constant medical treatments and the belief that she was gravely ill took a toll on her physical and mental well-being. Her escape from this toxic environment came at a devastating cost, the murder of her mother. The years of abuse and manipulation culminated in a desperate act of violence. We were both convicted for our roles in Dee Dee's death. The courtroom was filled with tension as the details of our troubled past were laid bare for the world to see. Gypsy and her then boyfriend, Nick Godajon, were convicted for their roles in Dee Dee's death. The trial revealed the extent of Dee Dee's control and the lengths to which Gypsy went to break free. It was a tragic end to a life marked by suffering and deceit. Gypsy's story is a stark reminder of the devastating impact of psychological abuse and the lengths to which a person might go to escape it. Her case has sparked discussions about the complexities of victimhood and the justice system's handling of such cases. The case has also brought attention to Munchausen syndrome by proxy, a rare but serious form of abuse. It has led to increased awareness and efforts to identify and support victims of this condition. Despite the tragic events, Gypsy has found a measure of hope and support from those who understand her plight. Her story continues to resonate, highlighting the importance of vigilance and compassion in recognizing and addressing abuse. As Gypsy serves her sentence, she remains a symbol of resilience and the enduring human spirit. Her journey, though fraught with pain, is also one of survival and the quest for a better future. Just as Gypsy was preparing to put her past behind her, a figure from that past emerged threatening to shatter the fragile peace she had built. In a series of emotional TikTok videos, I claimed that I, not Ken, could be the father of Gypsy's baby. Ryan's claims were explosive. They shook the foundation of Gypsy's newfound happiness. I demanded a paternity test, my voice cracking with a mixture of anger and heartbreak. I spoke of my love for Gypsy, a love I claimed had never truly died. The paternity test demand sent shockwaves through Gypsy's world. The woman who had fought so hard to reclaim her life was now thrust into another battle, a battle for her future as a mother. The legal implications were complex, the emotional turmoil even more so. 
Blindsided by the revelation, I struggled to come to terms with the possibility that I might not be the father of Gypsy's child. My world, once filled with the anticipation of fatherhood, was now shrouded in uncertainty and doubt. The situation was a powder keg of emotions, waiting to explode. The public, always captivated by Gypsy's story, watched with bated breath as the drama unfolded. Opinions were divided. Some sided with Gypsy, believing this to be another hurdle she had to overcome. They argued that she deserved a chance at happiness, regardless of the paternity of her child. Others, however, were quick to judge. They saw this as a repeat of the past, a pattern of manipulation and deceit. They questioned Gypsy's motives, her capacity for honesty and stability. The court of public opinion was in session and the jury was still out. As the dust settled, one question remained. What would the paternity test reveal? The answer held the key to the future of Gypsy, Ken and Ryan. It would determine the course of their lives, the shape of their relationships. Would it bring resolution or ignite further chaos? Would it heal old wounds or tear open new ones? One thing was certain. The world would be watching, waiting to see how this latest chapter in Gypsy Rose Blanchard's extraordinary life would unfold.